dun dun dun. I don't know that song. Dun dun dun. I don't know it. I sing along. I just don't know. Welcome back to the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz. Brad, the Carthage Bulldogs surviving last week at Marshall, but again on the road at a state contender. Yeah, surviving the, the right word there. Only a three-point win against Marshall. Bulldogs, though, now with the longest winning streak in the state at 29 games, but having to go to Gilmer, who's one of those favorites in 4A Division II. Let's go ahead and head over to East Texas for our Texas highlights. And this is one of the best games a year ago. Can it live up to that billing again? Carthage, Gilmer, Carthage. Both both of the teams in at close to the top of the standings in their respective divisions in 4A. And on the opening kickoff of the game, this is Carthage's Sharvis Garrett fielding it off the bounce, oh, gets the hole, and then he takes off down the field. It is a track meet, and go ahead and give the gold medal to that young man. He takes it in for the score. Carthage up seven to nothing. Now last year's Carthage running back Keontae Ingram, he is at tomorrow. Texas making big plays for the Longhorns. Tucker Smith replacing him, and we are calling his name every single week on the blitz. Breaking tackles and run away from defenders. He takes it in for the score. Carthage now up 14-0. Third play of the game. Gunner Caps going through the air. I mentioned Ke Keontae Ingram. His brother, Kilvante Dixon, making plays. He takes it in for a Bulldog score right there. Carthage up 21-0. Gilmer trying to get something going down 28-0. Mason Hurt going deep, finding Trey Flulellen for the Gilmer first down. They would later score on that drive. Didn't matter, though. Carthage putting the state on notice as if they weren't already. <laughs> getting the big win. Their win streak now Number at 30. 30 games. They take this one 66-14, and they were pumped up after the game. We talked about any time you play Gilmer, you better be ready to go with that G on their helmet, how much pride and, and what a great uh, elite program in the state, you know, and uh, so we were ready to go and uh, it was a big win last week for us and we were worried about being a, a little bit unmotivated because all the talk, but we were motivated, ready to go. It says a lot about our senior leadership uh, this year. They want, they want to do something special like the two senior groups did in front of them and we got a long way to go, we know that, but you know what, we, don't, we, we can get better as we go and see what we can this senior class is a great senior class. You know, there's a bunch of us. Uh, we're not going to get complacent at all. That won't happen around the senior class. You know, we're pretty, pretty bossy, and we like to win a lot. So that's how we want to keep it. They like to win a lot. They're also good at winning a lot. Texas High has been on a roll since the season opening loss at home tonight against Kilgore. This is Miles Washington. He's finding the end zone for the touchdown there, and then a little bit later, Colton Clack. To Chris Sutton, nice gainer there, but Kilgore, this is Gus Witt, and he's going to take it in for a touchdown here. Kilgore all over Texas High tonight, 42-14 the final in that one. Tough loss to the Tigers, that's the first win for Kilgore this season. Pleasant Grove 3-0 to start the year at home against Gladewater for week four, and this is Pleasant Grove taking it in for the 20-yard touchdown. A trail, though, 10-9 at that point. Ben Harmon now going through the air, finding Jackson Cobb who eludes a defender. Great block by his teammate out there before he's eventually brought down. Gladewater now on offense. This is Tristan Holmes going to his big receiver. He jumps up and brings down the touchdown. Now Gladewater on offense here is a 55-yard rushing touchdown right there. Take a look at the final score from Hawk Stadium. Pleasant Grove's win streak ends at 19. 19. They fall for the first time this season, 44 to 37. Gladewater takes it. Liberty, Ilo, and Atlanta both looking for their first win of the season. Somebody's going to get it tonight at Harris Field. This is Juwan King. Nice run here, breaking into the secondary, finally going down, and then a little bit later, going the other directions. Going the other direction, Damian Henderson for Liberty, Ilo, getting off to the outside, breaking a couple tackles. Nice little gainer there. But this is Liberty Ilo, way up already. Shane Porsche all by himself in the end zone for the touchdown. That made it 27-0. All Liberty Ilo tonight, 41-7 the final in that one. Wascom back at home for week four, an opening district play against Paul Pewitt. First quarter at the goal line, Wascom QB Jacob Norris keeping it himself, takes it in for the touchdown. Wildcats 
up seven to nothing, but Paul Pewitt answering right back. Similar situation at the goal line. Cross Holder diving forward for the score. They would miss the two-point conversion, though, so Wascom still with a 7-6 lead. Now the Wildcats going through the air in the second quarter. That is Jacob Norris finding his running back, TK Hamilton, for the touchdown. Wascom goes up 14-6. This game was back and forth early, but the Wildcats get the win, taking it 40-24. Pittsburgh, they won their last two games, trying to make it three in, a, three in a row against Van. This is Van's Liam Nelson. He fumbles the ball, and Pittsburgh's Mason Montz scoop and score for the touchdown. And that gave Pittsburgh a 7-0 lead. Pirates all over the place here. A little bit later on, Jalen Jimerson. Pittsburgh gets the ball back. Jalen Jimerson is going to look deep. But he gets picked off on this play right here in the end zone. Always tough when you throw an interception in the red zone. Pittsburgh falling just short tonight. They fall to Van 21 to 20. The center Rough Riders at home. Tough one tonight as they welcome the Henderson Lions to town. Pick this one up in the second quarter. Henderson is Colin Everett running the RPO, calling his own number to take it to the house. Lions taking a 7 to nothing lead. Now the rain's starting to slip things up there at Rough Rider Stadium. Center's Jaden Hicks taking the snap, but fumbles oh. the snap. The wet ball out oh, wow. there. They're kicking it all around. Henderson soccer game will recover it. And then Hicks. The center back on offense now. Hicks with the screen pass. He's going to find De Killen Holt. Holt taking it the length of the field. Oh, wow. Eluding all of the Henderson defenders. That gets the center Ruck Riders on the board. Center, though, on a, that was their only touchdown of the night. They fall in a tough one. Henderson takes it 37 to 7. Brad, the Joaquin Rams, they're outscoring their opponents 123 to nothing at home good? this week. Yeah, a little bit. Against Corrigan Camden. Pick this one up in the third quarter at the goal line. Joaquin's Ian Shanahan. Shahan takes it in from short distance to put the Rams up 14 0. Corrigan Camden with the ball. Don Freeman throws it out of the wishbone, but it is picked off by Joaquin's Joseph Tarver. But on that Rams offensive possession, quarterback fumbles the snap. The defense recovers the ball, but again, Brad, Joaquin still has not allowed a point this season. They win 21 nothing. That's what 144 to nothing. They are outscoring their opponents in four wins. Some good math. I'm pretty quick on my feet. Yeah. So you're saying though that zero points allowed is good. Yeah. That's the, that's the goal. I probably would have known a little bit more about that had I played high school football. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Public Southern Quality Forward Friday Night Blitz. We check in on Arkansas. The Ashdown Panthers back at home. Plus, we head back to Texas after the break. <laughs> 